Hey everybody, Ash here for the Triple S League with some tips and tricks on how to stealth kill Clockwork Soldiers. Yes, it is possible. Now this is a follow-up video to my first video on how to fight Clockwork Soldiers. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I recommend you go check it out now. I'll put a link up on the screen or you can find it in the description. That covers all the basics of Clockwork Soldiers and how to fight them. But the number one question I got after posting that video was uh, what if you're going for stealth? What if you're going for the ghostly achievement or just don't want to be detected for whatever reason? It is possible to disable and even destroy clockwork soldiers without ruining your chances of getting the ghostly achievement and here's how. First I'm going to show you my stats page. Now I wanted to restart this mission and actually do a ghostly run through of it but Dishonor 2 does not have an option for uh, replaying a mission yet, although supposedly that is coming in a future update. So my stats are what they are. For what we're doing, the important number is this one. Uh, spotted by enemies, I've been spotted 10 times, and the goal is going to be to kill clockwork soldiers without that number increasing. One thing you can do is use stun mines. It's a very effective technique. Two stun mine charges will take down a clockwork soldier, but it won't register as a detection. Another approach you can take is to use your crossbow. Now you'll want to get your crossbow upgraded with hardened crossbow bolts, which um, increases the damage that your crossbow bolts do. And once you have that in place, you can take the clockwork soldier's head right off with a single shot. Now it's blinded. And even though that was a brazen frontal assault, uh, you can see that my spotted by enemies count is still at 10. It does not count as a detection and should not mess up your your ghostly achievement. Now as you can see, I can sneak all around the clockwork soldier and it's not going to detect me, but you'll want to stay in stealth mode because if I get up and walk, it heard me. And as you can see, that counts as a detection. So you don't want to let the clockwork soldier hear you to the point where it is certain that there's an enemy. Um, because that will count as a detection. But, something you can do is make a bunch of noise and lead it away from wherever it's standing. So this is a technique you can use uh, if you just want to get it out of the way so that you could move past where it was um, and just you know move on. If you don't care about killing the clockwork soldier but you just need to move past it, uh, that's a technique you can use. And as you can see, I'm still at, at 10 detections. But there are also ways that you can kill the Clockwork Soldier without it counting as a detection. For example, you can use a Stealthy Drop Assassination. And as you can see here, my detections have not increased. You can shoot it to death with your crossbow by shooting the arms off. It is possible to also shoot off the back plate and then target the rear canister, but for some reason I have found that crossbow bolts are very bad at uh, destroying that main oil tank canister. You take the head off the Clockwork Soldier and cause it to attack another Clockwork Soldier. Uh, it still counts as no detections. Even though they're getting hostile toward one another, they don't actually know that you're there, so this won't mess up your ghost. But it's also possible to just use your sword. Um, it's a riskier strat, but it works quite well once you get the hang of it. First, Get around behind the Clockwork Soldier. And I have found it's most effective if you come out of stealth mode, hit the back panel with a good solid strike, but as soon as you attack, immediately get into stealth mode again. Partly because you don't want to be detected, and partly because you don't want it to take your head off with uh, its massive blades. Then... For the second attack, you absolutely want to be in stealth mode. Every time I've tried uh, attacking the rear oil canister without being in stealth mode with my sword, it has always registered a detection. But if you get a stealth attack on uh, the rear oil canister, 
And I found the easiest way to do that is to use your stab maneuver. If you're not sure how to do this, you hold down your attack button, and it uh, she's going to attack as soon as I release the button. Like that. That'll take... That'll take down your clockwork soldier without registering any kind of a detection. That's a complete stealth kill, despite being very noisy. Another thing you can do to assist with not being detected is to line the clockwork soldier and use it to eliminate other enemies in the area. Obviously, they can't detect you if they're dead. Now, even though this won't count as being detected, anybody that the Clockwork Soldier kills will count against you. So, if you're going for clean hands, or you're going for non-lethal approach, low chaos, you might not want to do this. So, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Really appreciate it when you do that. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Sugar Bomb forum and our mods on Nexus mods.